Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a very special guest, Anthony Bertolino, the Director of Client Experience at iTrust Capital, my go-to place for my crypto IRA. It should probably be yours as well. We're going to talk about that today. Uh, Anthony, thanks for being here, man. Yeah, yeah. It's always happy to connect with you, my man. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, man. So if you wouldn't mind, give folks like a brief intro, how you got into the crypto space, and then maybe we can uh, get you to do a, like the 60 second pitch on iTrust and what it is. Yeah, totally. So I got in in early 2017, sort of was working in compliance and privacy. We were working on a case that there was some healthcare data that was stolen and they were requesting Bitcoin. So I jumped down the rabbit hole, learned about Bitcoin, learned about Ethereum, very quickly joined one of the first crypto retirement account companies in the US. Worked there for about two years and built up a crypto desk there. And then I joined iTrust Capital a little more than a year ago and started building the number one crypto IRA, the largest crypto IRA. And so it's one of the most exciting places in crypto right now that not a lot of people are aware of, but I think is very, very important. Definitely, man. So for somebody that's sitting there thinking now, okay, I know like what a retirement account is. I know what an IRA is. Why would they want to use a crypto IRA? Like why would they want to work with iTrust Capital? Yeah, totally. So usually it falls into kind of two buckets, right? You have uh, people who have an IRA or have a 401k and they say, hey, I have this IRA or this 401k or another retirement account that's just sitting there. It's probably not performing very good and it's definitely underperforming crypto. So they can take a portion of that or all of it. They can roll it over to iTrust Capital. It's a tax free event. There's no fees to do it. And then you can start investing into crypto. So buying your favorite assets, trading your favorite assets. And also that's without the taxable events when you're trading. Then the other kind of people are, you know, what is an IRA or I don't have an IRA or a 401k or retirement account. Why would I even do that? And so, you know, this is for U.S. investors only, but the U.S. has created what is essentially like a tax vehicle that's on steroids that not a lot of people know about. It's called an IRA or 401k, and you can buy and sell and trade assets, and there's no capital gains when you make these trades. And so there's a traditional IRA, there's a Roth IRA. We don't need to get into the weeds. Most people prefer a Roth IRA. And if you have a Roth IRA that's ten or $20,000 and you grow it to 100K, 300K, a million dollars over the course of five, 10, 20 years, and you cash out, it's all tax-free. And so, um, you know, people fall into those two buckets. And I just think sort of financial planning is really underserved in crypto. And it's time people start paying attention. Absolutely. So, I, I mean, from my own personal perspective, right, I was sort of the former, right? I was able to roll over some of a, an old 401k that I had you know, into iTrust Capital. I've been using it for a while now. It's one of these things that, you know, there, there's some really popular assets in there, right? There's the blue chips, right? The, the Bitcoin, the Ethereum of the world. Then there's also some ones that people are really stoked about right now. Polkadot, Dot, Ada, right? It, there's a lot of options in there to... Mm -hmm actively trade. So for people that want to actively trade, but are really worried about compliance in terms of taxes at the end of the year, this is a great option, right? Because as you trade and you grow your portfolio, you take profits, you reinvest them on dips, you're not accruing, you know, taxable events. Is that correct? Totally. And, and even I like to mention the trading aspect, but I'm an investor myself and using it for investors who are not actively trading is still super crucial because even, mm -hmm. you know, most of us still want to use risk management, right? The cycle gets crazy. Everything is going crazy. You want to sell some of it. You, you don't have to worry about taxes, right? So right. it's like if your portfolio goes crazy. Time to take off some off the table. You can go to cash and then go back into Chainlink or, or Polkadot or whatever it is that your favorite thing is. And and we're going to be, you know, our plan is to be a full service desk, right? So to offer DeFi, to offer lending, to offer staking, you know, first is trading similar to Coinbase in their early days. And we're going to be, you know, eventually be a so, sort of full service firm as well, but within the retirement account. So it's, it's absolutely amazing place to be. Yeah, it's powerful stuff. I mean, you know, you can take profits and sit it into something like gold or silver, which is also accessible. So if you want access to metals as well, that's in there. I was stoked about that. You know, and so going forward, right, you know, you've started to list more more coins. What is the path there? How do you decide to list new coins? And do you have any that, you know, maybe you can hint to folks where you're going? Yeah, yeah. So that's the, the cool thing about crypto, right? There's so many exciting projects and there's always... Uh, what is going to be added next, right? Mm -hmm. And so I can say that 
you know, we posted a sort of a, a little allusion to like a, a sort of unicorn the other day that should be coming mm -hmm. soon, right? Um, there's a lot of exciting things happening in sort of decentralized finance. Um, and so, you know, we added Chainlink, we added Polkadot, we added Cardano. I mean, adding things like Uniswap or Compound or, or any of these other new, whether it's a new chain or whether it's an application kind of on the chain, like, you know, DeFi and stuff, we're going to be constantly innovating. So like, I would say people should expect that we'll be shipping at least one or two coins a month, maybe more. And you'll hear some news in the coming weeks about some new stuff. Yeah, awesome. I mean, that's a good cadence to add new coins, right? Especially for, for folks that might be using this more as like a long-term hold. Mm -hmm. Being able to, you know, sh shuffle your allocations to some of the big coins, I think is like a really nice user experience. And, and from that perspective too, I think one of the things that most people are, are curious about, maybe concerned about is the idea of custody, right? So how does iTrust Capital handle custody? What is it like if I want to get out for whatever reason? Can you walk through the process a little bit for folks watching? Yeah, totally. So the, the one thing that's important to note, as you mentioned, custody is super crucial, right? Now with retirement accounts, the IRS does require there to be a qualified custodian in place. So, you know, we are a qualified custodian and that plugs into sort of custody wallet infrastructure. So our first partner that we've been with for a long time is Curve, C-U-R-V. Now we've been with them for years and people just started hearing about them because they got acquired by PayPal, right? So Curve slash PayPal is our sort of first provider. Um, we also have an announcement that, you know, I, I can say on air is Coinbase Custody is a new partner that we've already kind of locked horns with. We haven't announced it with, uh, announced it publicly yet, but that will be coming out in the future. And so A, when it's inside the IRA, it is in custody, right? With the most premier partners that there can be. Um, then when you retire or when you want to withdraw or take distributions, you can take physical possession of it, right? So there's the whole world of physical distributions. When it's time to take money out, you don't even have to sell. You can take what is called an in-kind or a physical distribution. So you know, take your Bitcoin, take your DOT, whatever it is. Um, and, and which is, which is nice. Cause if we do go into a world of the dollar just goes to, you know, uh, a shit coin, so to speak, you can not have to sell for dollars. You can just pull out your crypto. Yeah. Brilliant. And, and looking too at the, you know, at the future, even beyond this, you know, cycle, if you're someone who, who believes in the sort of cyclical movement of crypto, uh, the similar to how retirement accounts were structured before in terms of access to equities, stock sort of thing, right? It's the idea that if you have a longer time horizon, you're betting on the long-term growth of, of nascent industry, of well-established industry. And I think this is just a natural progression for people to get access to crypto assets in the form of a, of a regulated uh, you know, tax-advantaged account, if you will. Totally. And, and what's really sad is sort of the awareness just needs to get out there more because everyone's waiting for an ETF, right? Oh, I'll finally be able to get Bitcoin in my, in my retirement account. Well, it's like you already have access with us to physical crypto it's not even an etf like a wrapper it's real in real custody you can take possession of if you need and um, it's mostly just about education and so yeah playing that long game or diversifying with like gold or, or taking money off the table with cash even the world of like tokenization um we'll be looking into in the future that's exciting getting access to sort of uh, apple or some equity exposure if you wanted to um within an account like this is something you know, we're looking at all options and the goal is to be a sort of full service platform, not just like a niche, you know, Bitcoin ether only, but we have Bitcoin, we have, we have all the, all, we're going to have a lot of the, the sort of good altcoins and then in other assets as well. Perfect. And so in terms of who you're seeing sort of flocking to this service, I'm sure if you have a lens into how it's being adopted, how many people are coming in, do you tend to see more people rolling in money from previous retirement accounts and sort of splitting the difference or more people making contributions to this plan sort of directly from whatever they're making month over month. Yeah. So it does kind of fall into those, those two buckets. And I would say it's, it's like 60 to 70% of people moving over retirement accounts. A lot of those are from Fidelity, Schwab, TD Ameritrade, Vanguard. Um, also a lot of them is there's these other sort of old zombie legacy crypto IRA companies, you know, the Bitcoin IRA, the kingdom trust, the bid IRA. And, we're constant people are constantly leaving them to come here as well so if someone's also a listener it's like well i have a crypto ira you know we're offering six months free for transferring mm -hmm. over to get more assets you get lower fees right you get better custody so it's these people with iras like sort of dinosaur uh crypto iras or you know legacy financial system 
And then I'd say 40% are these new accounts, you know, people who are, you know, 20 to 40 have never had a retirement account, want to start one doing these monthly dollar cost averaging or something. And so it's, it's a platform for both people fit in really good. Excellent. And, and you mentioned something that I think people will be interested in, in that, right. And that's the, like the fee structure. How do you manage fees? What do those fees go to? How are they paid? That sort of thing. Yeah. So we, we wanted to keep it really, really simple. So first off is you have a trading fee, right? Mm-hmm. It's 1% per trade. So it's cheaper than Coinbase. It's cheaper than Gemini. I think they're, they're hovering around 1.5% or so. So it's 1% per trade flat. Now we do have something that Gemini or Coinbase doesn't, and that's a small monthly fee, $29.95 per month. But that includes, you know, the account set up, the institutional custody, the insurance that we have, account management. And again, it's a retirement account. So the taxes most people save is in the thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands. And so, you know, 30 bucks a month is, is obviously very much worth it. And that's where it, it, it this is, is, is definitely for the more sophisticated investors who are saying, hey, I know crypto is going to be huge and I don't want to lose all my money to taxes. Um, and if they use, you know, Hashoshi, which you'll probably mention, they can use that promo code and they'll get one month for free so they can even try the platform. Um, and again, this, this really is like a paradigm shift. It's like, I've been buying crypto at Coinbase and then you learn about crypto IRAs and you're actually supposed to accumulate in an IRA first before a brokerage account. And it, it, right now it's mostly just an education thing. And we've only been around for a few years. So it's also, uh, we're coming to market and, um, yeah, it's it's the most enamoring place in crypto right now, aside from the whole DeFi entrepreneur space, right? We're 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 sort of disrupting legacy, but um, yeah, it's 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 a crazy world. Definitely, and I'm by no means like a financial advisor, or financial planner, or anything like that. Nor do I claim to be, but I genuinely do think that something like this, right? I trust capital for me was what I went with. Something like this should be in people's plan, right? Your your plan for crypto, especially people that are saying, "Hey, I'm long in crypto." The people who are saying I'm not selling on dips, the people who are selling, you know, saying I'm 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 going to be in Bitcoin for decades. Mm-hmm. This to me is kind of a no-brainer for those types of people because if you're already committed to a long time horizon, then putting it into this sort of tax-oriented, uh, tax-advantaged account, retirement-focused account is pretty brilliant, right? Totally, yeah. Because even the world of like the the never selling crew, the hollow crew. Mm-hmm. Let me look at Biden. You know, well, we've had historically very low tax rates and now, you know, they want to raise tax rates for, for sort of the wealthy, which is understandable. Right. And, mm-hmm. and we can have that debate another time. But if you're really in Bitcoin long term and crypto, you're going to be in those tax brackets. Like, let's be honest. Right. And that's 40 percent at minimum that it's going to be plus mm-hmm. state taxes. And again, we're at historically pretty low rates. So like long term, it's not unfeasible, unfeasible to see 40, 50, 60, 70 percent tax rates. If you have a Roth IRA, it's totally tax free, right? So again, turning even 50K, doing it just a 10X over 10, 20, 30 years, which is in crypto, that's like very realistic, right? Depending on your allocation. Again, it's all tax free when you sell. So, and there's ways to get it out early too, other than retirement, right? There's a lot of exclusions. And so, yeah, it's just a tool that needs more education, but is one of the most powerful financial planning tools ever really in existence now combined with crypto. So if people want to learn more about some of that nuance, right, how, how to go about this planning process, do you have resources on, you know, on your page, folks that can help with this or even recommendations for professionals that can help people really make a plan and stick to it long term? Yeah. So general investors, you know, I trust capital.com, you know, we have a free sort of IRA guide that they can just download and, and request. Um, usually the best way is just make a free account you know, use your promo code Hashoshi so they don't have to pay. Um, and then uh, check it out, right? Use the platform, whatever it is, right? And, and in our knowledge center, there's tons of learning, tons of frequently asked questions. We also have like on, on, on-call on specialists, right? And these are people who've been in financial services for a long time. They're not telling you what to do financial planning wise, but they, they have the questions and answers that they can give you. And then if, if someone's an actual financial professional listening, like an accountant or a lawyer or a tax planner, you know, feel free to reach out to us. We have a partner's program that, you know, people can refer their clients to. Um, but if anyone's listening and you're in the U S and you have a retirement account and you haven't thought about rolling it over, it's, it's important to consider. I mean, we're, we're at the beginning of even a potential like super cycle now, right? Which we can discuss, but it, another time it's, it's interesting. 
it's wild time right now. And, and I think anybody that is looking broadly at their portfolio, looking at what they have even in the, in the equities world, just be thinking about this as an option. It, you know, the main reason I wanted to make this video is to put it out there so people know that this exists. Um, I didn't before I just stumbled upon it uh, and I got the chance to connect with Anthony. So first of all, man, thanks so much for joining me on the channel. Folks that are watching this, please do connect with Anthony, connect with iTrust Capital, make an account. I'll leave all the information for this down in the description and the pinned comment down below. Uh, but thanks for being here, man. Yeah, thank you. We'll connect and talk markets another time. And I hope people now understand the advantage of crypto IRAs and they'll likely get started. Yeah, hopefully so. And folks, we'll do another session maybe and talk through you know the outlook of, for crypto long term for those who are using iTrust Capital. <laughs> yes, definitely. Thank you so cool, much, man. man. Absolutely. Take care. And thanks, everybody, for watching. Have a fantastic one. And until next time, cheers.